guys, I have a quick video here on some other ideas for some DIY embellishments, paper piecing, and um, DIY ephemera. So um, let's get started. I want to show you the types of things you can do. Excuse me. You can do doodling. I have doodled all these images. These are in black and white. These are all in colored images or um, done with my gel pens. These are all doodled in black, but I have done them on some patterned paper. And these are stamped images that I have done with um, stamps. Some of them I've gone over with gel pens. These are all digital stamps or free printables. So let me go over these really quick. Um, let's start with the black and white doodled images. Um, you guys know last week when I was um, not feeling well, when I was down, um, even when I'm not feeling well, like yesterday I was running a fever, I think it's coming back. I do, I, even if I'm just laying there and I don't feel well, I'm always crafting. So I have worked on a whole pile of doodled images. Um, last week in the couple days I was down, I doodled all these. I started the fussy cutting and then finished them up yesterday, last night, and this morning. There's all kinds of donuts, cactuses, um, ice creams and candies. I did different kinds of donuts, um, lollipops. Uh, actually, the first thing I tried to doodle was the flamingos, which I don't know why, because obviously they're like the hardest thing. Um, some cupcakes. There is, whoops, these are the ones I want to show you. A little camera, a teepee, and some fruit. And now all of these images, all I did was went on Pinterest and, and Instagram. I did watch one YouTube video on just kind of doodling ideas and tutorials. That's all I did. That's what I entered in the search. Doodles, ideas, doodling ideas and tutorials. So another cactus. There's some tea bags. This is the ugliest macaroon. There's actually a cute one around here. Um, some bows coffee mug. That's a pretty cute macaroon. It's all right. Um, this is a pretty cute cupcake. I really like this lollipop, how this turned out. And there's another type of donut. And this is the other type of macaroon. If you, um, <clears throat> instead of just doing the like one border, you do a second border. So it looks because how macaroons are baked, they're baked with these both flat sides down and then there's like a cream put in the middle so there's actually like a little burnt edge or whatever there's cherries see that's the other that's the macaroon without the extra little piecing so oh this one's pretty cute um my shoes look like ghosts but you know i do not claim to be nor do i think i am in any way an artist or good at drawing um I have never really attempted much drawing because since I was a kid, I've never been very good at it. So, yeah. Um, if I can do it, I assure you, I assure you, if you just try some simple images, they will come out pretty great. Um, <clears throat> the other option for doodling, see I tried one of the other kind of plants. Um, there's some other bows. This is just like a doodled border. Yes. So, other ideas are doodling with colored pens. Um, these I did with like Sharpie pens, or and a couple of these were Zig, the Zig fine tip and brush pens. Like the this brown, this thicker brown was done with a Zig brush pen. Um, I used my gel pens to make some banners. I attempted to make some paper clips and then I used my gold brush pen from the Michaels Dollar Spot to make that banner. Um, the other options are doodling onto patterned paper. Um, and I think I want to make some little pots for them to sit in. Like these are done with some like wood grain paper. But there's some of these. And then I made some pineapples to paper piece like that. And then for my like bulbous, like rounded cactuses, there I made a couple of these little flowers to sit atop them. 
The other option, and if you don't really want to be doodling, you can do stamps. That's either, you know, your actual stamps, which you can stamp on black or white card stock, craft card stock, or you can stamp onto patterned card stock. Those were the scraps of some of my favorite paper, that yellow and wood grain paper, which I think is from Maggie Home Shine. It may be confetti or journey. I can't remember. Um, my issue is like all of these were stamped by me. I have a stays on ink. I even bought a re-inker because I thought maybe my ink pad was just getting dry. I'm just, I need to get a versifying ink. So if anyone has an extra, like maybe they bought a pad, then they bought another and then they bought a re-inker and they don't need two pads and re-inker and they want to swap me for something, I would be happy. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to go out and buy one. But um, this bronze I got in the Studio Calico Past Kit haul. Um, I do have like a gold ink, which I tried with this. It is the Hobby Lobby brand, and um, I went over it with my gel pen from Dollar Tree that my friend Carrie gave me. I stamped this on some of the new Maggie Holmes paper. Um, the flamingos and the pineapples are the dollar or the Target dollar spot stamps that um, Sticker Tina shared with me. Um, this I painted, this is a free printable that I painted with my gold paint pen and then went over with Sharpie. Um, these are some of the free printables that I've had for a while. Um, that's like a strawberry shortcake little ice cream. There's a couple of strawberry shortcakes in here. Um, there's some little envelopes. I love this little coffee image. Um, there's this geometric deer head. These little kawaii cupcakes. Um, this VW bus is really cute. And then there are a few other things. There's this typewriter. Oops. Coffee mug. And there's a whole sheet of free printable right now with all different kinds of snail mail images. Um, I think this little, um, tongue is part of it. And then those bows. So, there's two different types of bows. That's what the bow looked like. It's kind of pixelated. That's why I went over it. But... Now, if you do digital stamps and printables, it is difficult to watercolor those, which a lot of these images I am going to be watercoloring. Um, because if you do not use a laser printer, if you just use an inkjet printer, your ink can smear. You can still um, use colored pencils. And all of the awesome um, ephemera that Shantice had made and sent me, she did colored pencils. So those work as well. Um, these are the rest. I just want to show you the rest of my like digital images. I have a, like a little file folder with a couple that aren't cut, really cut apart yet. But these are the, my favorite ones. And they came out kind of purple. So I think I'm going to send my fiance some card stock to print these out. These are those doodles of the perfume bottles. I'm obsessed with those. And then these are all the stamped images that I have that shared with friends. The pink are from Catherine. These are all the ones that um, Cindy Four Kiddos has shared with me from her first, from our first swap, swap and the second one. These are all have been shared with to me from Ren. And you can, these are all in videos, so you can watch these go back and watch these videos. Um, Ren, I'm going to show you these specifically because Ren sent me these a while ago when we were first swapping. Um, that's, I love that image, the lawn fawn little camper. Um, and then there's like the little hamsters. There's an otter, little, um, elephant. So yeah, there's all kinds of of ways to make your own ephemera. Now, with the watercoloring, I will show you all of the types that I know of of watercoloring. I tend to use this brush pen. My friend Carrie gave this to me. You can order these brush pens on AliExpress for around a dollar a piece, actually a little bit under. Okay, so types of watercolors you can do. So there is the classic watercolor, and these actually work pretty well. Um, I've, I use these all the time. They were 287 or 387 at Target. Um, they are just the Crayola watercolors and they don't, they're actually not too bad and they have some really cute colors. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. Now this brush, I wouldn't recommend using that brush, but I always need a sharpener. 
I may make some cute like crayon like melting on something. I don't know. But yeah, for a dollar, the cute colors that it comes with, no harm in trying. You can also use watercolor pencils. Uh, my mom actually handed these down to me. I have used them. They work really well. The other option are um, watercolors in a tube. Now, um, these are from Hobby Lobby from $4.99, but I won these. Um, the first, I've won two giveaways ever. This one is from Lisa Rides Again on YouTube. When I first made a YouTube account, like almost two years ago, and um, started getting back into paper crafting, she does a lot of awesome and amazing planner videos, um, <clears throat> DIY. She has like a Filofax, Happy Planner. She also does like DIY planner videos. She does um, mixed media. But anyway, um, I won her giveaway and it was like a mixed medium watercolor kit. I won some stamps, a couple of little inks, and this watercolor set from her. The other <clears throat> giveaway I have won is the that Instagram giveaway for washi samples that you guys saw. So that is everything I think. Yep, that is everything I wanted to show you. Those are my ideas um, for doodling and DIY embellishments, paper piecing. Um, you can also obviously do the paper piecing with stamps and um, different kinds of pattern paper, which you guys saw from um, Ren's Prima Dolls. Actually, I'll just grab it real quick. It's right here. So you can stamp. Oh, why is Okay. The lighting's kind of going out, but you can stamp and um, do paper piecing as well, not just doodling. So I wanted to give you guys those ideas for some more emb um, embellishment ideas. I will be coming out with another embellishment video soon. So I hope you guys like my ideas. I know that it's kind of repetitive, but you know, we all don't know everything. So if we all share what little bits of information we have, then we can all, you know, get some better ideas. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, if anyone else has some ideas and wants to share in the comments, please do because I know I'm still quite a newbie. So anyway, thank you much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.